Okay, hi, and welcome back to another episode of Still Not K-Pop with Still Not David, except I'm really late, and the other guy, I don't know where he is, he's, I, the last I heard from him is he was off to buy a hat, so I don't know what that means. But of course, before we get started, this week's Still Not K-Pop is brought to you guys by Mass Holes. See, the thing about relationships is that you gotta focus on what's important, like this guy. I mean, that's just it, I'm just not gonna take my socks off when we have sex, I mean, if that's gonna be a fucking deal breaker, then it's a fucking deal breaker, it's just, you know. Facts are facts. I like sleeping in my socks, period. That must be a Boston thing. That was Patty from the new YouTube show called Mass Holes. He moved to LA with his active friend Kevin to make it to Hollywood. It's like entourage with worse accents. So click on annotation to see the full episode and subscribe to the Loud channel to make sure you don't miss a single minute of it. Alright, now back to K-pop. So I haven't been doing my job lately as to, you know, updating you guys with K-pop news, but I got a medical excuse for that. Well, not, not like physically, but I was sick, as you can hear from my voice. I still don't sound very good. But we have a lot of cover today and I kind of I kind of omitted some stories too because I felt they weren't that important. But the first story I want to talk about today is Secret's newest music video called Poison. So the music video starts off with kind of a western wild wild west look with like detectives, guns, and sheriff hats and stuff. Now the song sounds a lot like something you would hear from Secret mainly because Secret is widely known to not be able to pronounce English words properly. And don't act like you don't know what I'm saying. If you guys remember that whole magic 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 business. But the choreography is crazy. Crazy. They, they did like a whole horse dance, like a full-blown horse dance. So yeah, we got Zinger being the lead actress in the music video, seducing some detective guy. But I'm just sitting here wondering, why Zinger? Like, you have so many other girls in the group that, are, that in my opinion, look a lot better than her, like Jiyun or Sonhwa. But you end up with Zinger. Anyways, I'm usually not a harsh critic, but that music video had an awful storyline. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. I don't want people to hate me. I know haters gonna hate. Uh, I'm gonna leave it at that. So click on my face to portal if you would like to see the music video. And um, yeah, moving on. Now we're gonna move on to news that doesn't really matter, but it's still interesting anyways. Big Bang suddenly caught himself in a little sex scandal while he was in Japan. Apparently a few photos of him sleeping were leaked in a Japanese magazine. Some girl claims that she slept with him and took those pictures. Gave a little too much information like how he likes to choke her in bed and, and stuff. I would continue but it's kind of disturbing for me so I'll just leave it at that. Anyways, I can actually care less whether or not Sunni is getting bitches in Japan. He's getting bitches everywhere. But you know, a sex scandal is a sex scandal so it's kind of a big deal. Uh, to people who don't have lives. And something positive today. Our friend Tablo recently won the long, super long battle against haters, because haters gonna hate. The group who was accusing him of lying about going to Stanford and doing all these bad things to make him look bad finally formally apologized and admitted they were wrong, and that they are very, very sorry. So they're kind of late on this by a few years, but you know, better late than never, but never late is better. Nonetheless, it's finally over, which is good. He can finally get some rest, get some peace, and be like, in your face. And now FT Island released their newest music video for their song I Wish and it sounds pretty darn good. I just love how every band has their own little style or their own little taste that they bring with them to every song and you can clearly hear this in FT Island's new song. They have an addictive nice melody and then the chorus just gets really rocky and then we have Honky just being awesome and stuff. So if you watch the music video, click on my face, the portal, check it out. It's definitely one of the better songs that were released this month or two. Months. I don't know how long I've been gone. It's been a long time coming, but I'm here now. But then we have G-Dragon's new song, Crayon, and uh, I, I don't know what to say about this either. Like, the last time I said something about G-Dragon, it wasn't anything positive. Maybe I'm just not hipster enough to appreciate his style when he's not with Big Bang. Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe I'm just a hater, and haters go hate. And of course, you kids came out with the new music video, Stop Girl, and uh, last time you guys raged at me because I forgot to talk about you kids, so this time, I'm gonna troll you guys and not talk about them at all. And we also have Miss A's new song, I Don't Need a Man, but uh, if they don't need me, then I don't need them either. You know what I'm saying? I'm not too fond of that whole independent woman business. So I'm not gonna go into that song. Alright, uh, I'm kinda disappointed in the song actually. But guys, what I do like is Ailey's new song called I Will Show You. Now this was a big release. When I when this came out, there was like 10 people posting it all over Facebook. And it, it's such a good song. And it's funny because I just recently discovered Ailey. Well, not discovered. I knew she was. But I just recently started listening to her and actually appreciating her voice. And her voice is amazing. And I found this out because she did an amazing cover of my favorite song, On Rainy Days by Beast, and she just did an amazing job, so I started becoming a fan just like a week ago, and it's convenient that she releases a new music video 
just what yesterday or two days ago the music video was kind of like a Taylor Swift thing I'm a nerdy girl but I'm gonna be a pretty girl at the end of the video and you're gonna want me my favorite part of the song is actually the beginning when it's just piano and nice and slow but I'm not too fond of the little beat change where it just gets really upbeat and pumpy and I don't know I feel like this song should have stayed as a piano song but I'm assuming this opens up a lot of room for acoustic covers which is definitely a good thing to check out once people actually start covering the song. I personally cannot cover a song because one, I can't play the guitar very well and two, the lyrics don't really allow me to do so. But yeah, that's all we have for K-pop this week and of course before we go, I do owe you guys a CD so if you give me a second. So I'll yeah, here, this week I will be giving out FX's Electric Shock album and I know it's been like a month or, or so but I'm gonna go ahead and start rolling the numbers now from the last two videos so let's head over to the computer. Alright guys, so we are now looking at the Tiara is Gangnam Style on Pandora. And this has 122 pages. Yes, I know there's 123, 24 here, but they are blank for some reason. So I'm going to go ahead and go with 122. And then for the G-Dragon and Sexy Love, we ended up at 42. Yes, the 43rd page is also blank. So 42, 42 plus 122. It's 164. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out my handy dandy uh, uh, utilities. Random number generator. Alright, so 1 out of 164 generate 123, which means it's on the first page of the second video. And then there are 10 comments on the page, so it's gonna be the seventh comment. So let's see what that says. Uh, seventh is this one. I think people are proud but shocked that Psy came out of nowhere and has a song to 400 million views in less than 3 months and is such a widely known song now so I believe that the other groups would try and change their style to compete with Psy Gangnam style. Alright, uh, so this comment is by Carmen Lim Rock 1000 Congratulations and thank you guys for watching Still Out K-Pop and I will see you next I don't, I, I don't want to say week because I know it's not going to be week but I will see you guys next time and I'm not teleporting anymore.